Hello, hello. This is Paola with Bark. Today we're going to help you monitor your kids' Chrome searches and browsing. Bark analyzes the search and web page title to alert you about potential issues like self-harm or sexual content. To set this up, you'll need your kid's Windows, Mac, or Chromebook computer. It could be a laptop or a desktop, doesn't matter. And then let's get started. Sign in as your kid would sign into their computer. If it's a shared computer, we'll talk about tips on handling that in a future video. Then open Chrome. If you're asked to pick between user profiles, pick your child's user profile. Next, click on the top right profile icon and verify that this is indeed your kid's email address and that turn on sync is enabled. If it's not, then make sure to sign in with their email and delete any extra profiles that shouldn't be here. Now, we want to connect your kid's email address to Bark for monitoring. If you know their password, go ahead and use your parent app or dashboard to get it connected as a Gmail, Google Drive, and YouTube account. You use the same Google credentials for all three, making it super easy. If you don't know their password, you can ask your kid, or you can select your child will connect this account, enter in their email address that's signed into the Chrome browser on their computer, on their computer, go to their email inbox, find the invite link, and get connected that way. Now, after you've connected your kid's Google account to Bark for monitoring, we're ready to navigate to the Chrome Web Store. Search Bark for Chrome and install Bark for Chrome plus Bark for Chrome Watchdog two extensions. Click the puzzle piece on the top right and click the three dots next to the Bark for Chrome extension. Click Manage Extension. Select Allow an Incognito. And repeat this step for the Watchdog extension. Now browse a few sites. They don't have to be bad sites. It just helps give Bark activity so it knows it's connected. And that's it. It may take up to 15 minutes for the connection to appear on your parent app or dashboard. If your kid tries to remove either extension, you'll be alerted. And if Bark detects issues in your child's Chrome browsing or searching, you'll of course be alerted too. Now, if your kid has a Chromebook, you want to also install the Bark for Chromebooks app for additional features. Learn more in our How to Monitor Chromebook video. To prevent your kid from using guest profiles or signing into Chrome with other emails, check out our other videos about disabling guest mode. Lastly, if you want to block sites on your kid's computer, You'll need the Bark Home connected to your router. Learn more in our Bark Home video. Have additional questions about monitoring Chrome on computers that aren't covered? Reach out to us at help at bark.us and we'll be happy to help. 